Rangi misena la kachiberu. Lerim kachizum china chamaturu. Tiseda tigo mitsanzara i. Tiseda tisuni denlu. Rangi lava chuse kolore gopi kanewa kelche. Di beule pise lebeka zonam ja chichi. Zamling yaka blesheti na tarsab joi mi. Titan semi chuse kolotsu. Du yaka nale nandin bedi ebi. Dissuji Gonse, Nildam Jibanga to the Gosuki, don't touch his singer Simje Panabe Yable, Rana Sose Omba Batindi, Jicho Chobe Yisuni Jiba Chambachin, Timbu Tomdi Bulu, Chuseko Locas and Letandi, Dumda Chitomdi de Kosas of Hon Chambachin, Lamgita Lukalwang Dinchim Yotolo Yisuni. Why, I name a show, I name a show. Kuzuzangpola and welcome to season three of Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host Shoni. Never do for a child what he can do for himself. Allow your toddler to tie his shoes, pour his own cereal, and put on his coat in the morning. If he can't zip it on his own, start it off for him and then let him finish the job. Running slow on time? Set the alarm clock 15 minutes earlier so you can give your child the extra time he needs to complete his tasks. Create opportunities for your toddler to be independent by placing things at her level. Put bowls, snacks, cups, etc. on the lowest shelf so she can serve herself without needing help. Pour milk into smallest plastic pitchers so she can pour her own milk. Watch your child's daily routine and ask yourself what changes can I make to allow him to complete this task without my help. Let's catch up with our last week's participants. On the show, I promise to be active. Sometimes we work on the ground and together and take care of the flowers. On the show, I have promised that I'll give more time to my kids, so I'm trying my best. So compared to last time, I'm able to give them more time. Ever since we came on this show, I think my son is improving and he's uh, trying hard to improve. Provide your child with directions when needed. Some parents tend to do all of the talking when it comes to goals or feedback. This can block a child's opportunity to develop the vital language-based skill of self-direction. So, instead of telling children what to do, have them tell you what they are going to do. It gives them ownership of the challenge. Of course, if they do need some suggestions or help on how to complete a task, it's okay to step in and offer assistance. Let's meet with today's guest. Hello, welcome to my home and my name is Lola Zangmu. I study in class 7, I am 12 years old and I study in Rangjung Lower Secondary, Secondary School. This is my father who is a health worker, his name is Peldon. This is my mother who stays, his, stays at home, her name is Ugin Laden. This is my sister Rinchen Peldhaden who studies in class 2 and this is my brother Pema Laden Suri. Me and my father are coming to the show and I'm very excited. I will be coming soon. Bye. Welcome to Do You Know Your Child. My first question as always is, um, do you know your child? Yes, I do know my child. Okay. Um, tell me a little something about yourself and your family. My name is Belden. I'm working as a health professional, mm -hmm. especially ophthalmic profession. Okay. And I'm father of three. I have two daughters and one son. Uh, right now, here with is my eldest daughter. Okay. And uh, middle is also daughter. She is uh, studying in third standard. Okay. And youngest one is son. That's eight months old. Oh, okay. Yes. How is it uh, like handling a newborn? Is it is it tough for a father? Yes, uh, as being a father and as being a parent, we have to be a fast teacher to the, our children. Of course. And it's very challenging to handle a small baby, mm -hmm. especially I being as a health worker. Mm -hmm. I cannot give much time with, to spend with my children because I, I have to attend sometimes emergencies. Sometimes I have 
to go for out call. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes I have to go for long tour, like conducting comprehensive school head program, mm -hmm. uh, such things. And I cannot give much time to spend with my children. Oh, okay. So when you realize that you don't have a lot of time for your yeah. own family, how do you make up for all the times lost then? As soon as uh, I'm at home, I try my best to spend with my children. Mm -hmm. I talk to them. I share uh, whatever they uh, bring. Then I share whatever I bring mm -hmm. home. And we share together, talk to them, and say what is the difficult things they are facing and what they have learned in the schools okay. and what uh, subjects are very difficult and what doubts they face. Mm -hmm. Then I ask them. And the, to say frankly, my eldest daughter is very frank okay and she's a talkative okay that's good and she never go out with her seeking permission from me and from her mother oh. she always seek permission whenever she wants to go out oh that's really good yes. and i always say it is better to have a really talkative child yeah. because better in the sense that we know what the talkative child is thinking because she talks to us, right? Yes. But when we have a quiet child, that is the biggest worry because we don't know what the child is thinking. We don't yes. know if the child is all right. So we have to keep asking questions. Mm -hmm. Now you said you have three children out of which the eldest is very expressive and talkative. Mm -hmm. yes. What about the other two? Do you have a quiet child? No idea about, about my younger the son. Younger She's one. just eight months old, but middle one is just type like a shake type okay she's very simple but she also frank with me and to her mother but okay. uh, i don't know how far with the others she's very shy and she okay. cannot face she never talks to some guest who comes to us like this mm, yeah. okay sometimes um I mean, right now she's young to have formed a strong personality yes. so you really can't tell but um as a parent when you have your first child who is very talkative and active yes. and expressive what it does can do is overshadow the middle child the middle yeah. child i worry i'm a middle child myself yes. when i was growing up i was very quiet because i had really loud elder sister and yes. younger sister so they took all the attention but as soon as we reached um, the teen years yes. i think i realized that i wasn't getting any attention and i became extreme i had so much anger outburst i was always loud i would do all sorts of things to get attention from my parents so sometimes you might think oh my middle child is so sober and i don't have to worry about her but you as a parent need to be aware that sometimes the kid re will really try and fight for attention so you have to be aware of uh, it and you should try and give equal attention to yeah. all yes, normally yes. what happens is when we have babies the baby who cries the most gets the attention right yes. the baby who doesn't gets left alone so you don't want to do that as a parent because you're going to regret doing that later <laughs> okay. okay so let me explain to you the rules of the show i have 10 questions with me i'm going to ask these 10 questions to you first then i'll ask these questions to your daughter okay. and later we'll tally the answers and that'll be your score okay, okay. so first question what is your daughter's favorite color? White. White. Yes. Okay. Um. Why white? When she buy something, she always buy white color. But wow. uh, maybe she have uh, some explanation or justification for the white color. Okay. But uh, I have no idea. Okay. You just know it's white. <laughs> Who prepares her breakfast in the morning? Mom. Mom. It's always mom. Mom. Sometimes I cook for them, but uh, most of the time I don't stay at home. I was alone. As far as I was at home, so I prepare for them. Okay. Then my daughter used to say, uh, when father cooks meals for us, it's special. So ah. mother is <laughs> So they mom's the regular default yeah, food. Yes. You're the special kind. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. But it's Only occasional I cook for oh, them, no? That okay. feels there special for them oh i see so it's but it's mom who normally cooks yes. most okay number three what did you do you and your wife do for her birthday last year uh, we just uh, simply offer a butter lamb in our ramajung chilling temple okay and we had a simple pancake we made at our home and we had just celebrated ourselves with among family oh. no invitation <laughs> oh that's i think that's special yes. um, and yeah. I just a simple gift I gave her, socks and side bag for her. Oh, that's perfect. Did she like it? Yes. Did she have any complaints saying, no oh, complaint, I didn't get no to complaint. invite? Oh, okay. That's really mature of her. Um, question number four. What is her ambition in life? Uh, she wants to become a doctor. Oh, okay. Yes, great. Number five. 
Does she have a favorite Bhutanese actor or actress? Oh, yes, ma'am. She says she don't have any uh, this uh, favorite actors and actress. No, not no, at all. Not at all, she says. Not even from Hollywood and Bollywood. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Okay. Fine. Number six. Does she have a favorite cartoon character? Yes, she that knows is. Barbie and uh, something say uh, Lisa Simpson or something. Oh, cartoon. Lisa Simpson <laughs> from The Simpsons. Yes. Right. Okay, Lisa Simpson and Barbie. Nice. Number seven. Does she read at home? Yes. Okay. She read at home. Um, how often does she read? Uh, evening before bed, unless she read okay. with books and she go to bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number eight, do you think she knows the importance of reading? Yes. What do you think are the importance of uh, reading? reading uh, by reading is improve speaking, language, all these things. So she yes. realized that reading is very important for her. Okay. Number nine, do you think she knows the full name of our fourth king? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Number ten, do you think she would know her fourth king's birthday? Yes, yes. She okay. Knows. Great, you've answered all the 10 questions. We'll have your daughter come here now. Yes. Welcome to Do You Know Your Child. Um, please introduce yourself. My name is Lode Zangmu and uh, I am from Trashigang. I came from Rangjung Lor Secondary School and I have, I have got a mom who works as an uh, non-formal education instructor and I've got one sister and one brother. Okay, what about your father? What does your father do? My father is a health worker. Okay, great. Bloody, what um, hobbies do you have? I like singing. Mm -hmm. I like asking riddles. Okay. I like writing. Alright, that's good. And I like reading. Great hobbies. Okay, what, what, what do you write? I like uh, stories, poems. Okay, that's really good. Keep it up. Um, so you said you like asking riddles, right? So give me a riddle. Let's see if I can. Okay. A man writes on Friday. Oh boy, yeah. And after two days, he writes f on Friday again. How? Oh boy. A man... Ride. Uh, ride? Riding, ride. horse riding on Friday. He horse rides on Friday. And after two days, again rides on Friday. Oh, I know! The name of the horse is Friday. Yes. Yay! Wow, okay. So, that's good, that's good. It really got me thinking. Um, now, you also said you enjoy singing, right? Why don't you sing a song for us? The snow glows white on the mountain tonight Not a footprint to be seen A kingdom of isolation And it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this rolling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in. Heaven knows I tried. Don't let them in. Don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal. Don't feel. Don't let them know. Well, now they know. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. Turn away and slam the door. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much for singing. So you've sung a song. You've given me a riddle. Now it's my turn to ask you all these questions that I have for you. Are you ready? Yes. Great. Number one for you. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is white. Why do you like white? Because it is a pure color. Ooh! Somehow you seem more intelligent, more sophisticated, more poised than me. Huh? Not fair. You're just a little girl, but good. Okay. Number two. Who makes your breakfast? Sometimes mother, sometimes father. Okay. Who makes your breakfast the most? Mother. Mother. All right. Number three. What did your family do or what did you do for your last birthday? Um, like one ritual or rimdo. Okay. And how did you celebrate your birthday? Uh, my mom made me a pancake. Okay. And they gifted uh, me one side bag. Okay. And 
pairs of socks. Oh, wow. And did you enjoy your birthday? Yes. Were you happy? Yes. Good. That's really good. Okay. Number four. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor. A doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Because I want to help sick people and there is shortage of doctors in our country, so I want to help others. I want you to be the Prime Minister because you are so thoughtful. You're such a young girl and I like how you think. You. This is your first time in front of camera, is that right? Yes, ma'am. And I see that you don't stutter or stammer or you don't get stuck. I get stuck. So I'm really, I really either want to see you on TV or want you to be the Prime Minister because you, I like how you think. Okay, so keep up. But you can be a beautiful, uh, really expressive, very thoughtful doctor too if you want to, okay? <laughs> All right. And number five, do you have a favorite Bhutanese actor or actress? Yeah. No, why? Yeah. Because I like every actor and actress. Okay. Number six. Who is your favorite cartoon character? My favorite cartoon character is Lisa Simpson. Oh, okay. Why do you like Lisa Simpson? Because she is so sensitive and intelligent. Just like you. I'm going to call you Lisa, okay? Because you remind me of Lisa. Lisa Simpson is a very smart, right? She thinks for the environment. She thinks for the country. She thinks for the people, right? She's very farsighted and I think you are just like Lisa Simpson so I'm gonna call you Lisa number seven do you read Lisa yes yes okay how often do you read um, I read uh, during night time till 9 to 10 oh okay do you kind of read every day yes that's really good keep it up um, number eight do you think reading is important yes ma'am why because it helps us in our day-to-day -day life to speak and act what we do. Okay, that's really good. Um, who told you that reading is important? Everyone around me. <laughs> okay, good. Then you're surrounded by the right people. Good. And other things, I also want to um, tell you that reading helps you learn about that subject. For example, you said you, like, uh, you want to be a doctor, right? So if you read a book on how to cure... Um, stomach ache then you of course you're building your vocabulary you're learning new words right yes. but at the same time you're also learning about the subject right then there's the sentence structure you learn how to make a sentence right so all that and um, I really like your answer so just adding that to it your second last question what is the name of our fourth king the name of our fourth king is Jimmy Singh Nam Ke Wang Chu Jigmi Singe Wang Chuk. I mean. Singe Wang Chuk. Okay, great. King Jigmi Singe Wang Chuk. Very good. Last question. When is the fourth king's birthday? The fourth king's birthday is on 11th November. Okay, great. 11th November 1955. You didn't have to name the year. That's good. You've answered all the 10 questions. Now let's take a look at your dad's score. Okay? What is your daughter's favorite color? White. White. Who prepares her breakfast in the morning? Mom. Mother. What did you do for her birthday last year? Go for a butter lamp. Ritual. What is her ambition? Doctor. Doctor. Does she have a favorite Bhutanese actor? Not at all. No. Does she have a favorite cartoon character? Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson. Does she read at home? Yes. Yes. Do you think she knows the importance of reading? Yes. Yes. Do you think she knows the full name of our fourth king? Yes. Jigmi. Singe Wang Chuk. Do you think she would know her fourth king's birthday? Yes. 11th November. So I have your upper score with me. What do you think is your upper score? Can you just guess a number? I think almost perfect. Almost perfect, okay. Which would be nine, you think? 9.59, 9, right? What about you, Le? You've heard all her answers, so. I think same. Nine, okay, nine. nine. Great. Well, um, 
I'm very pleased to tell you that you've scored 10 out of 10. So perfect score, right? Are you happy? Yes. Good. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> Great. Um, yes, um, this is a perfect score. Now let's go to our commitment segment. What do you think you as a father can do to improve her or improve the situation at home, make for the betterment of the whole family? She's uh, fairly good in studies, mm -hmm. so I don't want to let her to go down her studies. Okay. So I will always be there to help her, okay. as well as to my family. Yes. And the continued support will be there from father. Okay. Yes. So Appa's promise, Appa's commitment is that he will help you in your studies. Because what a lot of the parents do is they think, oh, my son or my daughter is good, so I she or he doesn't need any help. But your upper recognizes that you're good and he says, I'm going to support her here on further, okay? So that you, your dream to be a doctor can come into reality, right? Your upper gave me three com commitments for you, so you can just pick one. Your upper says, hmm, do not fight with sister. <laughs> This is the third time I had it um, in Trashigang. So, do you argue a lot with your sister? Yes. Yes, okay. What, what, on what topic do you argue mostly? Mostly when she does not listen to me. And she's your younger one? Okay, all right. You expect your younger ones to listen to you, right? It's yes. something normal in our culture, but sometimes um, you have to know that the younger one also has a brain of its own has a heart of its own, right? Has a soul of its own. Which is why sometimes I also have trouble with that. But you have to let that person be a little independent, okay? Yes. What I do is I smother my younger sister. I have a younger sister and I feel like I'm her mother. I have to control her. I have to look after her. And she really doesn't appreciate it. So give her some room. So you have to try and work to reduce the amount of amount of fight you have with your sister. Can I will you try that? it. Okay, very good. She's a very clever girl. She didn't promise, she said she'll try. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> so <laughs> you're gonna have to try hard, okay? All right, great. Do you have anything to say about the fight at home? No, she has promised. I think she will do okay. favor of her sister and take care and she will, I think, guide for the studies for okay. her sister. Yes, that's so true. Yes. Great. Now that we're done with the commitments, you, let's go to with love. So you read your letter first. Dearest daughter, I'm lucky to have you as a daughter in my life. You brought a boundless happiness in my life. I most strongly desire to love you and to love by you forever. You make me feel belong. Your smile light up my heart. Your memory is like sunshine of my life, a precious part. Dear daughter, I would like to advise you some few things. Use your voice for kindness, your ears for compassion, your hands for charity, your mind for truth and your heart for love. Nothing can quite compare to what we have shared together. Maybe long stay, smiles on your lips, happiness overflow your heart, sweet let your nose smell, pleasing words enter your ear. The river that flows flow forever, the words you said stay forever. That what I feel may be felt forever. Trust me, I'm not saying this because I'm your father. I'm saying this because you are a strong girl. Do your study hard and emerge as winners, so I have no doubts that you can do everything. And I will always be there to clap for you and cheer for you. If and when you ever need me, I will make sure I will be there. Warm regards from your mother, sister, brother and your loving father. You said you're a health worker, right? You sound like a writer. So beautifully written, right? And it sounds very poetic too. So, so I think it runs in the family that people speak well and write well in your family. <laughs> All right, your turn. To my dear father, I feel safe when I'm with you. You make my life livable. The best father I know is you. You are a man like no other. You gave me life. You taught me good values but most importantly loved me un unconditionally. I have no words to describe how important you are for me. I love you, Appa. With love, your daughter. Oh my, so very confident. I really can't help but adore you. We've come to the end of the episode. Uh, but before that, 
I want to give you a few books. Um, this is by Lexan Belden Hamo. I'm giving this to you because I think she's a very inspirational girl because she already came up with the book. Use Lexan Belden Hamo as an inspiration to pursue your dreams already. You don't have to wait for you to finish your college, okay? Um, that's one thing. The other one's by Lingi Jamso. It's a collection of Bhutanese short stories. Um, then I have some books from the Ministry of Education in collaboration with UNICEF. This is very educational information. So although you don't have little babies at home, you can still learn and keep that knowledge, okay? Because you said you wanted to be a doctor, right? These are information all important, uh, useful for a doctor. The last one that I have, this is uh, a special, special book because it's an autographed copy for you, okay? Sangeet Tenzin, the author, has autographed it just for you. This book has a lot of details about what our fourth king did, our, uh, did for our country. So, okay, okay, and in addition to that, I have the very, very favorite, the very, very talked about gift from Do You Need Child, and it's a... Titan watch. It's a Titan watch, yes. It's all the way from Pimpu. Titan was with us for, uh, for the last two seasons and is still with us and we're very glad about our friendship. Thank you so much for coming to Do You Know Child and thank you for thank bringing you. her with you. Yeah. Instead of seeing mistakes as a failure, look at them as an opportunity for your child to learn something new. You don't want them to be afraid of making mistakes. They need to realize it, that it is a part of life. When your child doesn't succeed at something, be sure to speak in problem-solving ways. Instead of saying, I told you not to do it that way, say something like, let's try to do that part again and see if we can make it work. If you go in to improve everything your toddler has done, it will damage her self-esteem and most likely deter her from doing that particular task in the future. If you really can't leave it as it is, approach the situation by saying something like, I hadn't thought to do it that way. Would you like to see how I would have done? We have yet again come to another episode. We'll catch up with you next week, same time and place. Till then, if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt or write to us on our Facebook page. Thank you and bye-bye. Lisa is your name, right? I'm calling you. Lisa, do you read? Rangi misena la kachi beru. Herim kachi zumti na chama toru. Tiseda tigo mitsa azara i. Tiseda tisuni denlo. Rangi la wa chuse khola re gopi kanewa kelche. Di beule pisi lebe ka zonam ja chi chi zamling gya kab le shi na tar sab joi mi Titan se mi chuse kholo su du gya kab na le nandin be di abi di chuje gonche nil dam jibjang ab chile gosu ki tong ta ke singa singe pana be yable ran ra sose omba betin di ji chow chow be yese shuni ji ba chamba chin tim bu thom di bulu chuse kholo ka shen le than di dum da chi thom di dekho sha sa hong chamba chin lam gi ta lu kyal wang ding chim yo to le yese shuni. Well, I'm a